when is weight loss surgery necessary? We've seen on the NBC TV show The Biggest Loser, people who are morbidly obese get back into shape. Some lost over half their weight. While I think that this show might be doing great things, giving people hope, sometimes it's unrealistic. Participants on the show basically take almost a half year, a half or more year of their life off. Participants on this show basically take almost a year off of their life. For many, this is financially impossible. These participants then surround themselves with doctors, nutritionists, trainers, and other support staff, which for most is also financially impossible. We have families, jobs, commitments, and other activities that don't allow us to spend countless hours in the gym and eat professionally prepared meals. That said, I still like you to remember it's possible. For some individuals who have a challenge to lose over half their weight or 100 pounds, it might be appropriate to seek medical help. This treatment might be prescribed if you are suffering from a diet-related chronic disease that is life-threatening. There are two basic procedures that work pretty well. One is stapling your stomach so that you fill up faster and don't overeat, which is pretty much a permanent solution. The other is a restrictive band that basically makes you choke if you eat too much because the food has difficulty passing through this band. These bands tend to have elasticity issues and have to be refilled from time to time to maintain their effectiveness. In both cases, diets need to be changed. Before any weight loss can occur, people need to eat below their personal point of weight loss, whether doing it through counting their calories or through medical treatment. Weight loss success is all about eating at a calorie level below your personal point of weight loss where you neither gain nor wane loss. To learn more about your personal point of weight loss, visit burn500.com. Thank you.